What's springtime, man? Here I am with Girk, owner, operator, Girk Ski and Cycle for decades. Today, decades. we're going to talk about e-bikes. Which bike do we have here? We're looking at the Specialized Como 3.0 right here. Ooh. And uh, they make a 4.0, has a little bigger engine, a little more battery life, but this has got a plenty of plenty of power to pack. This All right, who's, a great who's, little bike. who's this bike good for? Like, who well, would like to ride this? So, so the Como, Como is a comfort family of bikes. So you can see right away the big fat seat, the upright handlebars. So this bike, for somebody who wants to be comfortable, they're not trying to, you know, ride a hundred miles, but they want to sit up and just ride easy, go down to the bar, maybe come uphill, and not have to <laughs> put out any energy at all. You are on this bike, the beauty of it, you're just big comfy seat sitting upright. You know, it's like a, a, a cruiser. And, yeah. um, but man, when you start pedaling, it just goes. So, so th this is a bike for all ages. All ages. Everybody loves this bike. All, all ages. Okay. You know. And and how much is this bike? This particular model is twenty nine fifty. Two thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so think of it as getting around town wherever you need to go efficiently, fast. You get a little bit of a workout. Yeah, you get as much workout as you want to put into it. I mean, it just makes you stronger and faster. So uh, you know, think of it. This bike making you four times as strong. You know, the more energy you put in the more you get out of the bike. But I can I can work up a sweat and work hard, or I can put on my flip-flops, ride uphill, and not, not break a sweat Perfect. all day long. So you Como 2.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3. Como 3.0. 3.0. Fantastic. Absolutely. Love it. So the beauty of Specialized, they design these bikes from the ground up, literally. They build the motors from scratch. They have a team of about 60 engineers over in Switzerland building these bikes. And if you look at it, on first glance, you could barely tell it's electric. A lot of electric bikes, you see there's a big battery bolted on and the motor is like a secondary aftermarket piece. This bike is seamless. The battery is integrated into the down tube. The motor is built into the bottom bracket. Um, it's just such a seamless, beautiful piece of engineering. Um, the battery is a smart battery, can be controlled on an app on your phone. So you can just program in how far you want to ride, how much power you want left when you get back, and it will regulate your power for you. Um, it's just, I, I call it the Tesla of e-bikes. People sometimes say it's a little more expensive than other brands, but you get what you pay for, and this bike is absolutely worth every penny. Yep. Right on, so now I'm on the Specialized Como. It's the comfort model. I sit a little more upright. Uh, I got a nice fat seat on my, under my tush. And I'm not as aerodynamic on this model, so um, even though it has the same power and battery and motor as uh, the Vado, uh, when you change your body position and sit straight up, you're, you're not quite as powerful of a motor as a human being. And the electric bike, it just multiplies your power. So if my power is down a little bit because of my riding position, I'm not getting quite the same uh, speed and power out of the bike um, but it's so comfortable so but cruising along here 18 20 miles an hour is super easy and then on that Vado um, where I'm bent over a little more I may be going 23 miles an hour with the same effort so um, that's kind of what you give up for the comfort and uh, but man this has got a nice fat tire that absorbs all the road vibration and uh, Still, I mean, we're cruising along here at 20 miles an hour. I could be keeping up with a sponsored bike team at this pace, in all seriousness. Um, if you saw a group of 10 riders with fancy spandex on, they wouldn't be going any faster than I am right now. And uh, it is just comfortable, easy, hills are not a worry. And uh, I just love this experience. Anybody could get on this. It's comfortable, it's easy. So I'm accelerating, going uphill a little bit. So I downshifted um, fifth gear right now. Now I'm picking up speed, hit gear six, gear seven. I'm doing 20 miles an hour. I'm, I'd be keeping up with the you know, fastest team in town right now, cruising around here. All right, so here I'm on the Como right now, which is the uh, comfort version. I'm sitting a little more upright. Got a nice fat seat. Camden next to me here is on the Vado. Um, it's a riding position where it's a little more bent over, a little more aerodynamic, a little more powerful as a human engine. And uh, when you have a more powerful human engine, 
it multiplies by the, uh, the, the motor on the bike, multiplies that, so you get more power uh, total if you're putting a little more into it. So, uh, but we can easily, be, you know, spend a day together side by side on these two different bikes, and uh, he's not gonna be waiting for me. I'm gonna keep up just fine unless he really wants to put the hammer down and uh, leave me in the dust, but that's because he's younger, stronger, more youthful as well. But uh, man, this is an experience where if you're normally gonna go out and barely be able to keep up five or 10 miles an hour, it's gonna take you all day to go around Mercer Island. Um, here, you know, I'm doing 18 and a half right now, not even, I mean, barely putting any energy into this at all. Now I have a pretty good hill coming up right in front of us. I'm gonna be downshifting, and you know, we're gonna slow down, but I'm, I'm gonna to try to maintain the same effort which is you know virtually nothing so now i did downshift i'm down in my fourth gear now drop down into three and uh yeah i'm pedaling easily you know that's good. i can do this all day and this is a pretty sturdy hill i'm going up and uh so definitely downshifting slowing down i'm doing 10 miles an hour but if i wasn't on an e-bike i'd be in my lowest gear standing on the pedals just you know, breathing about as heavy as I could breathe just to get up this hill. And uh, right now, I'm tell my heart rate is not up, breathing's not up, just crested the hill. Now I'm gonna shift it to some higher gears, pick up speed a little bit, and there you go, just like that. So you slow down going up the hills, you know, that's just gravity, physics, all that, but uh, you don't have to put out any more effort really uh, makes the world flat. All right, now we're gonna climb a really big one, about a half mile hill, pretty steep. When I ride this on my road bike, left turn. When I ride this on my road bike, it is a low gear, stand in the pedal, grind it out, can't wait to get to the top. It's the end of every ride. I live on top of this hill, and uh, on a normal day, I really hate this hill. But today, different story. I'm already to the first corner. Haven't even, uh, haven't even thought about exertion. And uh, normally when I crest this next corner, I'm uh, downshifting one more time, getting up out of the saddle. And uh, you can see here, I'm just sitting down and I don't think I'm gonna be breathing heavy by the time we get to the top. I'm down in my uh, third gear here. I've got two more gears I could downshift to if I needed to. If it got really steep. And I'll show you, you can still ride hard if you want. I'm gonna stand up just to show you. Woo. See, I can still work hard, pick up some speed. Man, I'm getting a big boost from that motor. Now I'll sit back down. Still not working hard. I mean, I thought this time I'd be wishing to just kill me now probably be out of water and uh just thinking about the cold beer i got in my fridge waiting for me on the top of this hill and um you can see cam are you working hard not breaking a sweat no this is nice so we're taking the nastiest hill to get from east mercer up to island crest way normally people would be terrified trying to climb up this you know, your average recreational rider would probably just be walking. And uh, we're cranking along. Yeah, this is just uh, easy peasy. What a joy. It really, uh, it really takes those terrifying moments of the bike ride out of the equation. And here we are cresting the hill. That was about a half mile of uh, I don't know, 10, 12% grade, and uh, still not sweating. I don't even need deodorant. This is awesome. Man, it just makes you want to ride. I mean, it gets you excited to get out. The feeling of just, just the power, it's hard to explain that uh, when you just feel this powerful, it just makes you want to, just makes you want to do it. Man, if your bike's sitting in the garage, you're like, man, it's not hard work, it's exhilarating. All the joys of riding with man. This is just, 
great. And we just covered, we covered a lot of ground, which would normally be an, an intimidating kind of route. And we just lapped it without blinking an eye. Um, it just really opens up your world, what you can do. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Specialized Como 3.0 and that we took you along for a ride to see what it's like to ride an e-bike and specialize. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're in the Seattle area, come on by down at Gerks and we'll help you get set up on a bike. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Now, just so you know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. And also, so Gerk thinks about it next time he poses for a picture. I'm gonna leave you with this next picture. What do you think, spokesmodel?